What is up everybody? It is Wick here and I'm going to garage sales today looking for some treasure. And the first one, I'm seeing some shoes, some foot joy looking shoes that could be good. I don't think they were, but here's a baseball bat. This is an Axe baseball bat. $5 and I'm like, hey, this is great. In great condition. These bats are very expensive and usually when I see them, uh, people want like $30, $50. There's one yesterday at a sale. Somebody wanted $30 for, but that one was $5. Going to be some great profit. And that's just the first of many great finds this morning. Of course, I'm going to go over everything I found today in the haul part of the video. Make sure to watch to the end because, wow, there's some incredible finds. Checking out the jackets here, making sure there's nothing vintage or special. And, yeah, what do we got over here? It looks like some PS4 games. But uh, I think it's just Blu-ray movies, right? Uh, each one's... Is it individually priced? Uh, I didn't see anything special. Over here, you got some of these Pocahontas mugs, glasses, $50 for the lot. I don't think that's a good deal. Usually that stuff's not great. Here's a Watchmen, um, what is it, like a mini TV? I can never remember. Uh, I looked it up based on the price eh, and how fast they were selling. I just decided to pass on it. Wasn't worth my time, but check this out over here. <laughs> It's kind of funny, all of these magic cards, right? And the guy next to me looking at him, and I was, he's having a sale across the street, and I was just talking to him about magic cards and how I never find them at garage sales. And then we he comes across the street to look at his neighbor's sale. I walk over there, and then just here's all these magic cards, right? And I'm like, oh boy. Um, <laughs> this is something I'd want to find, you know, without anyone who's into magic cards next to me looking at him, right? Fortunately... They're all nothing good. The guy knew what he had, so uh, I did pick up some stuff there. Uh, however, you know, just unfortunately nothing great. So I have a PSP there I found, though, and here's a Genesis game. What? <laughs> you never find these anymore, it seems like. So I decided to grab that. Uh, PSP I ended up getting for 15 uh, Some other games here I'm just checking to make sure there's no uh, NCAA 14 or something like that. Uh, the other like college hoops, whatever the, the games are, you know, is, is valuable. They can be easy to miss because you see so many sports games that just aren't valuable. There was the NCAA 2009 on the Wii. I'm pretty sure that's no good, right? Did pick up the Genesis game for only a dollar, though. And look at all this media. A lot of sealed stuff in here. Uh, some box sets that are sealed. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Stuff like that. So I ended up getting all of that. Uh, I love buying sealed media, especially when it's cheap. I'll go over everything I found, of course, let you know how much I expect to make. Here's a jacket that's vintage, this USA Apex jacket. Decided to grab that. Some terrible camera work. I apologize for that. It's just, you know, it happens. Usually I cut that stuff out, but I kind of wanted to show myself finding it. So here is... Another sale. What do we got here? Ah, oh, yeah, this sale. I remember now. This was a good one. I see some boots down here. And I squat down very slowly to look at them. I'm like, oh, some of this stuff looks pretty good. And I'm like, ah, oh, these are the uh, kind of popular style right now. These are Red Wing Works by Red Wing boots. Got those for $5. So they were worth picking up. The others, not so much. I got some Godzilla figures there. Some Bakugan. Godzilla figures, um, a couple of sold really fast. I actually think they were in my last video, um, my sales video. So that's just how fast they sold. It made it in that video before this video even came out. Uh, but yeah, some good finds there for what I paid for them. And this sale, here's some 90210 um, <laughs> dolls, figures. Uh, these are priced kind of high. I was going to look those up when I went back to the car because I just wasn't that interested. I don't think I've ever seen them. Usually that stuff's just not valuable. I just forgot. I'm sure somebody will let me know if I, I missed something good, but I don't think I did. Uh, Mr. Coffee Tea Maker, pictures, stuff like that can be good for bread and butter items. But down here I see some cassette tapes. And I end up seeing some okay stuff in here. And yeah, I picked out a few. Um, I didn't pay much for them. I got, didn't pay a dollar a piece, that's for sure. I forget what we negotiated here at this sale this is a sale i've been to a few times got a lot of cool things right <laughs> sitting around 
Uh, stuff hanging on the wall that's not for sale. Here's some more cassettes. I think I got a couple out of there. Uh, you just see, like, everything's priced appropriately, right? Here's a barber chair, $1,200. You know, maybe it's worth $2,400. I don't know. And maybe it's a good deal, but not really something I'm looking to buy. Gas pump, stuff like that, not for sale. But it's cool to look at some of this stuff. And I have bought stuff before. I bought some Stanley um, planes before, woodworking planes, made some money on those, I remember. And uh, yeah, I bought a camera. It's worth about $40. I think I paid $3 for it, I found here. So it's worth looking. There's some puzzles. A couple of them were sealed. I probably could have made some money on Amazon. I think they were like 5 or $7 for them or something. I should have just took the time to scan them real quick because, you know, I do sell on Amazon. Some of that stuff can be worth $30, $40 for certain puzzles. It's worth looking them up. And I got some cars, some Hot Wheels, Matchbox, something in there. I just assume that stuff is priced right. I just, I don't know. Uh, so moving on, I hit a decent amount of sales today. Also, um, how many? It's just, it's hard to say. Maybe 40-ish sales. Um, two different neighborhood sales. Uh, I went to one and then I came to another one. Uh, it was a starting a day. Well, I came a day early just to see what I could find, right? And I uh, ended up doing <laughs> pretty well, actually. Um, even found a couple things the day it actually started when I went to some of the other sales. So, yeah, definitely doing some grinding. And um, what do we got here at this sale? So some shoes. Yeah, some Under Armour shoes for $2. They're very clean. I can make some money on them. This is, you know, I keep using the, the term bread and butter. Uh, it's just one of those things that you just fill your store with. I mean, you know, make like 20 bucks or whatever because you're getting them cheap and there's hardly any work involved. Here is a, no, I can't remember if that's actually old or what. It was painted or made to look old. Uh, I remember looking at it and determining uh, it's not worth picking up. Just some old looking clock. And if you could right now, hit that like button for me. It really does help the video out, and I appreciate you watching. Down here, I see some of these Hunter uh, boots. I have rubber boots. I bought these before and sold them, but these were like $20, $25. Didn't really want to mess with them. Shipping can be kind of high on those since they're long like that. So this sale, this is a pretty exciting sale to find a day before the actual neighborhood sale starts. Here's some jarts and oh, they're plastic. I'm looking for the metal ones. You can't sell them on eBay, but they sell good locally. Lots of games here. I did find a Snorta game mixed in with all these. I paid, I think, $5 for it, which is kind of high to pay at garage sales for board games. You never know if they have the pieces. Here's some new boots and these things are priced way too high. Um, well, I guess work shoes, not really boots. Some of these cat work shoes. I found these pretty often at garage sales. They're just, I find them new. They're not just, they're just not worth much is what I'm trying to say. Ice cream maker, you know, these vintage ones. I've sold them before. I ended up opening that one. It was, it was kind of dirty. I just didn't want to mess with it. I think it was priced like 10 or 15 bucks. Uh, I think I've got the Snorta now in my hand. Very happy to have that because I sell those on Amazon for decent money. I see this Emerson Vintage alarm clock and it is the cleanest clock I've ever found like this. It's even got the, the manual there, which is very clean. $5. I know it's not worth a whole lot, but in that condition, I'm a sucker for those. So I bought it. I'll make a little bit of money, I think. But normally if I find them, you know, in worse condition, I just pass on them at this point. There's a Mr. Potato Head, like the very original one, $10 for that set. I do end up picking it up. I thought it was cool. And there's some money involved at $10. Not huge profits, but I'll take them. Lots of tools here. Not in great condition. Didn't find anything I really wanted. Uh, down here, though, I see Eden Pure G7 Air Purifier, which I do end up picking up um, if I ever get to it. I'm just kind of lurking here. There it is. But yeah, I, I ended up finding some really good stuff also in a free box, which I'll talk about. Um, just crazy. One of the best finds today at a free box. But check out all these blow molds. I was super excited to see these at first. So she told me that that set there sold for $1,200 and she wanted $800 for them. Um, I did get some blow molds from her though. Um, surprisingly, found some that she sold me cheaper. I'll make some money on. 
bunch of party light Christmas stuff that was priced high. But let me show you everything I did find today. Some great finds. Check it out, everybody. Another amazing haul. I'm going to go over everything now, show you what I found. Some incredible stuff. Let's just start back here with this Batman light. Hangs on the wall. This was $10. And it looks like it's pretty valuable. It's a newer one. It's not vintage or anything like that. It does work. It was plugged in when I bought it. At $10, I think I was going to buy it because it was cool. But on the back of it, I saw there's a retail price tag on there. It was it said $180. Now, you know, those MSRPs are usually high. I don't know if it's actually worth that much or not. I could only find one of these that sold on eBay and it sold for I think $90 plus shipping. I'm probably going to price this one about the same but it might end up hanging on my workroom wall and if I like it there I might keep it. I don't know but definitely some profit in that. Got some of these Godzilla figures at a garage sale. I think I ended up paying $10 for all of them. Some pretty decent ones here. Uh, I found a Mecha Godzilla which is much smaller that was worth like $70 somewhat recently so i thought that one could be really good it's pretty good i mean i could probably sell it for 40 dollars plus shipping this one was looking like maybe 30 dollars plus shipping and i think one of these was 30 dollars plus shipping and then one was about 20 dollars so i think at least a hundred dollars in these godzilla figures so down here we got a genesis game first one of these i feel like i found in two maybe three years I may have found one without the case. Can't remember exactly. Now, it's, it's nothing special, but it was only a dollar. It's complete, and I could sell it for 20 bucks. I'm sure I have this, probably multiple copies of this. It's a fairly common one to find. Uh, this is not even NBA Jam Tournament Edition, which I don't know which one holds the higher value. Still happy to come across it. Another thing I was happy to come across, and hopefully I got some of this footage. Uh, my camera kept freezing. I kept restarting it in the middle of all this. Just absolute chaos. So make sure you hit that like button for me because the stuff I go through sometimes to record these videos like I don't know I had thousands of magic cards in front of me I'm trying to reset my camera and do all this stuff and look at them another guy that was having a sale literally just talking to a guy at a garage sale across the street he was having one about magic cards I walk across the street start looking at this other garage sale he comes over you know to see what his neighbor has and there's all these magic cards there <laughs> he starts going through them I start going through them magic cards most of them aren't going to be worth a whole lot, but you know, if you happen to find the Power Nine or something, somebody that had that collection, you know, you could score a hundred thousand dollars. Definitely one of those dream scenarios. However, um, this guy knew what he had, and I, I was able to discern that very quickly. I even asked him some questions like, yeah, did you pull any of the rares? Like, because he had bags with like 100 rares in it for $10. He had them in baggies. You see that, you know, people's pulled the good stuff. They're just selling like the, the 20 cent rares or whatever. So yeah, it kind of came down to that. But I did pay $40 for, I think he said there's a, at least a thousand foil cards in there. And foil cards, if you're not familiar, they're just kind of like the shiny cards that are a bit more special a bit more rare still not like super like some of them can be super rare these are newer ones there's a lot of land cards in there now it's probably worth around 40 to 80 dollars something like that I bought this because I do collect magic cards to a, an extent. I'm probably just going to put this with my magic card collection because it's a pretty good buy and it will appreciate in value over the years. Let's go over all the shoe deals for today. I got these works by Red Wing Boots. Paid $5 for these. Incredible condition. I should be able to sell those for at least $60 plus shipping. Got a brand new pair of Fila shoes. Paid $6 for those. I think I can sell those for about $40. And below that, um, I'm not, I'm not going to dig these out. These are Adidas. They're Lego shoes. I mean, they're nothing really special. They're youth size. Uh, they're kind of dirty. I paid, uh, I think it was only $2 for those. But the only comps were for some new ones selling for around $60 to $80. So there's some money in those as well. Here's another pair of Red Wing boots I got. Now these look kind of rough, but they're just dirty. Wipe that down with cleaner and then you use the Doc Martens balsam stuff that I've talked about. These things will look incredible. There's no major damage to them. And these are actually vintage. Um, I might be able to sell these for $75 plus shipping. So at $5, it's worth the time to put a little, you know, 20 minutes of work into. Here's some of these Nike Hyper Dunks. Yeah, I paid $2 for them. They're good condition, clean. They're going to be easy to list. They're not big money. I sell them for 20 bucks plus shipping. They usually sell. Also paid $2 for these Under Armour shoes. Again, hardly worn, and I should be able to sell those for, yeah, I think it was 
30 bucks, something like that, when I looked up the comps. But for all the shoe and boot finds, if you add it up, it's going to be some good profit. You see, I also got a stack of gloves. Uh, these two Rawlings right here I paid $5 a piece for. They're actually new. Unfortunately, the kid's name is written on there. But she said that they bought them new, and then COVID hit, and they weren't able to play. So, yeah, I picked them up for $5 a piece. You know, I'll make at least $10 a piece on those two. Then we just got uh, three more. I think it was, yeah, the Wilson A500 here. Actually, you can probably sell that for 50 bucks. I think I paid three for that one. Then I got these. I paid two for. Again, at least $10, $15 profit a piece on these gloves. Gloves have been one of my bread and butter items. I, I've been finding a lot more than I ever found in the past. So I'll definitely be buying them at, you know, as long as I can get them at cheap prices because they do sell. So swing back over here. I got some records, some decent stuff at a dollar a piece. ACDC Voltage, Meatloaf, Bat Out of Hell, some stick. What else did I get? Journey. These are all in pretty good condition. Eagles and ACDC Powerage. Now, the ACDC stuff is pretty, not like valuable, but pretty good records. They'll sell, seems like maybe $20, $30 I was seeing. Again, a lot of these records, when you look at comps, they have different years, different stamps and all that. So that matters. I just bought them because pretty cool stuff and good deal. I think there's a probably at least $50 profit there though to resell. Below it, I got these Logitech speakers, X540s. I paid $10 for them. These should sell, well, I'll probably list them for $100 plus shipping. Comps were looking great on them. And the reason I decided to pick those up, usually I ignore computer speakers sometimes, but I had an old pair of Logitech speakers like this that uh, I've had for tw tw over 20 years, probably about 25 years. Finally just decided to get rid of them, looked up comps. I'm like, hey, sell them for $60. 60 bucks plus shipping, sold mine for $60 plus shipping. So I knew when I saw these, this is a newer, better model that I was gonna get at least $60 for them, but it looks like I can sell them for a hundred. Who here is a box of media. There's a lot of DVDs and I saw all this sealed Stargate stuff in here, sealed Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I just asked the lady, I was like, what would you do for all of this? And I think it was like $20 for the box. And then I got some other stuff in here. It's the full set of Buffy. Unfortunately, I think one has been opened. There's actually two of the first season. One was sealed. Stargate, it's not complete, but all the sets are sealed. So that would be good money. Here's a Lord of the Rings book set. Paid $5 for it. You know, I can sell it for 20 bucks. It's sealed. Here's a Lord of the Rings CD set, which was looking like it was selling for $25, $30. Sealed Omen seems like it was like 30 bucks. All these sealed Star Trek movies, probably a lot of them all together. Uh, make some money on those. I think in the end I had about $40 into all of it, but when you add it all up to what I'm gonna make, it's gonna be some great profit coming in. So here in this box, I have this vintage, well, Mr. Potato Head, what is it, Katie? Katie the Cucumber or something like, or Katie the Carrot. I don't know what the cucumber is called. Decent amount of pieces in a good condition. If you look at some of the pieces, they have these little plastic spikes. It's just amazing that they're not all broken up. Stuff doesn't last. I knew buying it, it wasn't worth a lot of money, but I recently saw this stuff, something on the History Channel about toys and how they came about. I'm like, oh, $10. I think it, I think I'd just like to have them for that. I can probably sell them for like 30 bucks, this amount. I don't know if I'll keep them or sell them. Stuff at a garage sale where there's a bunch of good Good stuff. Unfortunately, the person wanted a lot of money for most of it, like the sealed Legos and stuff like that that he had. Surprisingly, only wanted $5 for this Marvel Hero Clicks. Uh, there's a bunch of extra figures in here, like the big Sentinel, which, you know, is only worth like maybe $10. Some of these might be worth selling by themselves, but if you was allotted up, I mean, you're, sell you're selling it probably for at least $25. So having $5 into it, worth picking up. Also, this Hero Scape figure, which I picked it up and I'm like, how much for this? Because, you know, I've been selling a lot of the hero scape stuff that I found making big money on it he's just like you don't want to know and I'm like oh no uh, he told me $20 said it was selling for 80 or 90 on eBay I looked it up yeah I saw some comps comps for around $80 so I paid the $20 for it. I'll make some good profit on it, I think. Here's a snorter game. I had to pay $5 for it. Don't like to pay, you know, $5 for board games used at a garage sale usually, unless I know they're complete. He told me it was definitely complete, so we'll see. It looks like it. It's very, very good condition. Uh, this is a, one of those Amazon Bolo games I've sold multiple times. I think the last one I sold was for like $59.99 on there. Uh, currently, no one's selling it FBA, so I'll come in $59.99. 
or $69.99 maybe, and they'll definitely sell, make some money. Paid $3 for this Excalibur chess set. I've sold these before. Usually sell them for about $30 plus shipping, so definitely worth picking up at three bucks. Picked up this PSP, and it's got a purple skin on it. $20, uh, the guy told me that it would work when it was plugged in with this charger cable, but the battery was bad. I've seen it before. I knew when I opened the battery that it was going to be, they swell up and they kind of crack. This is exactly what happened with that one. So I've already looked, threw the battery away, and I'll just purchase a new battery. They're not very expensive. I'm pretty sure I have a charger cable for it, like the original power supply. I think this is the, the 3001 model. I think I could sell this for 120, 130 it's, uh, once I get the battery and everything. So, oh, I actually paid $15 for it. I said, will you take 15 then since the battery has a problem? And boy, it was the hardest decision he ever made in his life. He just stared, was shaking his head, looking down. It took him about a full minute to finally say sure and it was the most reluctant sure ever check out these cameras i stopped at a sale i don't think i was recording this one it's one of those sales that everybody drives past because it's in a driveway there's one table and some junky looking boxes right but i always try to stop at that stuff i got out and i i saw which i'll get to these combo units in a minute but i saw a combo unit for three dollars saw the olympic stylus which i know can sell for eighty to a hundred dollars this canon um like underwater camera which i knew was going to be pretty valuable and these are only a dollar i didn't know it was like 150 to 175 dollars valuable though and i also got something else which i'll talk about next at that sale but i pulled hundreds of dollars of profit out of that sale because i was one of the ones that stopped and there's two cars ahead of me that just drove like, they slowed down you know they look and they drive on and this camera came from another sale three bucks i think it's like a 30 dollar camera or something like that but between the cameras incredible profit and then the other thing i got at that sale which uh well, might be the find of the day, actually. And this came out of a free box. And it's these quilt patch set. And this is 1 through 12 with the starter set or whatever. I didn't know what these were exactly. I just kind of picked them up as I was leaving. I looked. I saw, you know, a decent price on this one, which was 40 and then some of these other ones, $7.99. And he's like, those are free if you know anyone that wants them. And I'm like, well, I'll go ahead and take them. Didn't know what they were worth. I got home, started researching them. And uh, I should be able to sell this set for $200. I saw some comps between like $180, $189 on Terrapeak. This particular style is not really listed. And when I saw that it was a set 1 through 12, uh, I was like, oh, please, hopefully it's all here. I, I grabbed them all. Sure enough, it is. Because I just grabbed a handful, and there's a bunch of stuff in that tote. I thought maybe I just left them because I wasn't worried if I missed one or two of these, right? Because at the time, I was thinking they were all just kind of the same thing, but... No, definitely something desirable out there. And yeah, $200 out of the free box. One of my best free box finds ever. Oh, we got to cut it in the video real quick. I was putting this stuff away and forgot to mention this bat. This is a great bat. Picked this up for $5 and I should be able to sell it for $80 plus shipping. Knew these things are about $180. So phenomenal bat find. This is going to be an extremely long video, but let's get through the rest of it. Got some electronics here. Got this Emerson clock for $5. It's so clean, it has the manual. I'm a sucker to buy these. They're not worth a whole lot of money. They're a little long tail, but you know, I'll make $10 profit on it. Just It's just so clean. I just love the look of these things. Three different combo units, two Toshiba ones, paid $3 for one, $10 for one. And then we got the Magnavox, which I paid $3 for. No reboots on any of them, unfortunately. Various prices, I'll probably sell these on eBay. I think I have a Toshiba remote. I might still have a Magnavox remote. Once it's all said and done, this whole stack of electronics will bring in good profit let's just lock this little sony radio in here i can sell for 20 bucks plus shipping as well paid a dollar for that then we got this eden pure air purifier 25 dollars. i ended up getting it for 15 i told him you know air purifiers you kind of have to replace the filter because you don't want to use you know someone's old filter have kind of that air or whatever circulating in your house because you don't know what's in it and they're 25 bucks for a filter so yeah i was able to get it for 15 i think i could sell it for like 60 maybe 70 dollars at 15 i'll definitely make some profit on it here's some more stuff that came out of a free box this razor scooter charger and this nintendo switch controller dock or whatever they're called actually between these two items i'll make 20 bucks pretty good for free got some book deals got these tarzan vintage books i uh, picked up a bunch of these somewhat recently i haven't listed yet so hopefully i can lot these with the others i mean they were 10 cents a piece I can probably sell these four alone for $20, so definitely a good deal. We got a bunch of Goosebumps books, which I paid $0.25 cents a piece for. They're not in super good condition, but still, 
I can make some great profit selling them. Certain ones are actually kind of rare and worth a lot. Also got some cassettes. I think the Ghostbusters one is probably the most valuable. Probably sell it for 15, but I got an average of about 50 cents a piece into these. So some stuff I got in the floor. I got this brand new pink Pump Master 760 BB gun. Paid 20 bucks for it, so I assumed that it was worth that. It looks like they're selling for you know about 40 plus shipping or about 60 to 80 dollars ship, something like that. We'll definitely make some money on that. Okay, so I got all these Ertl toys in this tote. The price was $75. I was able to get it for 60. And recently I talked about these in a video, I think. And I also sold some that I found uh, last year at a garage sale. Some of the buildings, some of the pieces. I ended up getting $100 for those. And that's just like maybe less than 25% of what's in here. So I'm like, there's definitely good profit in here. I'm pretty sure most of the plastic pieces are Ertl toys. I haven't fully went through this, but I did pull out some of the vehicles uh, just to kind of take a look at those. And just in these, I will make all my money back. And then I got all this for profit. This piece right here was selling for 40 or $50 by itself. And uh, some of this other stuff, you know, $15, $20, something like that. So that will be good there. And there's some more vehicles in there. You know, I just didn't pull it all out yet. I'm going to have to separate and go through it. I'm probably going to break it into lots. If I was the guest, just on the safe side, uh, $200 profit in that tote for sure. This stuff's all in great condition too, the plastic buildings. I wouldn't be surprised if I could get that to $300 once I start digging in it. For the sake of the video, we'll just say a couple hundred bucks profit. Same place, I got those Godzilla figures. I also got a bunch of Bakugan stuff, which again, I can lot together. I think I got like $5 into that. There's a bunch of them in this case, some more in that. Some larger ones, a bunch of cards. I should make some profit on it. Then finally, I just got this Apex One Vintage jacket. It's in amazing condition. USA Olympic team jacket. I paid $10 for it, but it's probably can be sold for $60 at least. There's some variations that are different colors. I saw sell for like 70 or 80. I think it was. I probably could have asked, maybe got it for five, but it was an older guy and he seemed nice. So I just paid the $10. Here's another thing I forgot to show. I knew I was forgetting some stuff. I also got these blow molds, vintage. She wanted $10 a piece. I ended up getting a uh, all four for 30. You know, I could probably sell the candles as a set for $50, $60. The toy soldiers for $50, $60 as well. She had some amazing other blue molds, so I was surprised I got these that cheap because she kind of knew the value of them, but they are dirty. I kind of want to power wash them, but I don't know. I'd probably take the paint off of them almost certainly, so I still think it's a great buy. There it is, everybody. I don't know. Maybe I missed something. It seems <laughs> I went through a lot of stuff here. Incredible finds. Going to be some good profit. Looking forward to adding this one up. Before you go, if you could hit that like button for me, I would really appreciate it. It helps me out so much. Also subscribe if you like the video and you want to keep seeing them. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Till next time.